love this quote, culture is the only enduring competitive advantage. When we started Steam Whistle um, back in 1998 is when we found the Roundhouse, craft beer was starting to slow down, the first phase of craft beer. Uh, imports came in, they were growing 45%. Things were not so good for craft beer. Um, 17 years later, craft beer has taken off, as, as most of you know, I'm sure. Import beers are not selling as well. But things are changing again in the U.S. Craft beer is starting to slow down. So things come in waves. The only thing that's going to keep you on top are these people here. This, I love this picture because this is Stefan Atten. Uh, we hired him. My wife actually heard from uh, the lady who's running our distribution department that there was a guy who was applying for a marketing job, or sorry, a delivery job, and he had great marketing background. So she talked to Stefan, and he'd worked for, came through the Procter & Gamble system in Europe, worked for Lime Brewing in Sri Lanka, one of the largest uh, breweries in Asia, and uh, couldn't find a job in Canada. He, he had an incredible resume, similar to Mark, our brewmaster. We hired him, and he did great things for our brand over five years. Eventually, he got hired away by, by Moosehead. And the reason I want to show you this picture is this is his last day. So we had him stay for two weeks, and we found out from his wife that he used to wear this, loved singing Elvis at karaoke nights, and we got a hold of this costume, and then we got his passport, and we had a party, which he didn't know about, where we took him and a bunch of the staff on a bus down to Ellicottville, New York, for the weekend, just to celebrate all the great things that uh, he did for us. Again, what is important is even when someone's leaving the business, we want them to feel positively about us because they are going to tell that story continually. Branding, is, uh, branding and word of mouth. Branding is not what you say about your product, but what the consumer says about you based on your com their cumulative experience with your brand at every touch point. At every touch point, usually normally, is an employee, and they can make the difference for you. Uh, this is Shannon. She, this is a picture of her when she started working in the retail store. Um, she did a great job of that, so we promoted her into uh, the distribution department where she'd be calling uh, liquor stores and beer stores for orders. Uh, she met uh, and started dating one of the guys that she was working with in the store, Gord. Uh, she eventually got promoted into LCBO sales, so she's on the road now uh, selling beer to the LCBO stores and beer stores in Ontario. Gord got promoted through the distribution department and is now running it. The important point is they got married and had the first steam whistle baby. <laughs> And they just had their second. So we love this idea of family. A lot of larger companies don't, but I think in a smaller organization, it makes sense. Uh, spread the love around. Have people dedicated to the business and have them see it as, um, you know, not just an eight-hour day uh, job, but th their life and, and a part of their life that they, they really enjoy. And when it comes to branding, you're really at the whim of your employees. They're the ones who are going to tell your story because you can't go out and tell your story to everybody. You know, we have about 190 employees right now, and right as I speak today, they're meeting customers or potential customers of ours. What are they saying? So what we do in the retail store, has anyone here been on a tour of Steam Whistle? Hands up. So in the retail store, um, we're very busy down there because over the years, if you can imagine, in 1998, it was a no man's land when we first acquired the Roundhouse, the lease in the Roundhouse. Our friends were telling us, you're crazy. It's a scary place down there because it had been all closed off before Bremner Boulevard was installed. Um, it's very busy these days with the aquarium across the street. The Jay's doing well. Cineplex is moving in next door to us in the roundhouse with a new concept they have called Rec Room. Um, we've got a lot of visitors. So in order to make sure that we make a good impression, the whole idea of meeting and exceeding people's expectations, we run theater sports additions for our staff in the retail store. So the first part of the edition, people come in, we'll have 60 people in our large beer hall, and they'll get together in groups and come up with maybe a steam whistle ad that they play out or something that they act out. And the reason we do this is we want to make sure they have strong social skills, because some days they may have to give four or five tours in a day, that they connect with people, they know how to connect with people and know how to entertain. And what we've discovered is these people are typically the ones that move through our, our business. And I, I mentioned earlier both Gord and Shannon, Shannon's a salesperson in the LCBO, and Gord's running our distribution operation. They originated in the retail store, and part of the reason is because they understand the brand so intimately, and they can express it so well. So after the addition process, uh, then we go into more uh, of a traditional interview style where we see if they can count, et cetera, which is also important. <laughs> and I'm proud to say, as a result of, of um, this program, uh, we've done quite well with TripAdvisor. For several years, we were above our friends across the street at the CN Tower. They were not very happy about that. But with TripAdvisor, it's all about value. I came in, I paid X amount of dollars. What did I, what was the takeaway for me? 
and we just try to make sure that the customer experience at the brewery is as positive as, as we can make it. Our job is to make sure that people walk out smiling and, and willing to come back, and of course, we're telling a, a good story to their friends about it. This is Adrian, our CFO. The tour goes right through the brewery. For those who have been there, we come right through the office, and I'll show you a picture of the office uh, earlier. But one on his birthday, we made him dress up in our bottle suit. <laughs> so um, in terms of uh, interviewing for other positions that are not so um, oriented towards entertainment or reading the public, one of the things that we do um, that I think is worthy of passing on is um, the way we approach our whole uh, management style uh, for interviews, for example, even if you're interviewing for a management position, the final interview will be with your staff. Um, they're the ones who decide. So we'll have two or three candidates, typically two, and they're the ones who decide who's going to be their boss. A lot of new candidates sort of freak out about this because they think that's like, my staff are going to hire me? Are they in charge? Well, to some degree they are, and I'll get, I'll get into that in a minute. Um, when we bring new people into the brewery, no matter what um, position that they're involved in, we uh, do an announcement company-wide, and we, we tell a little story with an image just so that people get an idea, see the face, who's joining them, and, and understand, each one of them understand the background. Um, even if it's a promotion, and right, Jeremy Moore recently got a promotion with us, and we just want to tell, again, the history of how Jeremy came to uh, develop that opportunity for himself.